Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, how you would go about enabling trace uh, to capture the queries that are generated uh, when you're connecting to SAP uh, using the connectors that are uh, available in Power BI. Now, well, when I uh, when users uh, are connecting to SAP HANA or BW in direct query mode. Uh, and they run into performance issues. They would like to uh, know what uh, what queries are being sent uh, to the underlying data source. Now uh, we can we can always enable uh, uh, trace in um, HANA and uh, look at the queries that are being generated by Power BI. But then you have to involve your SAP folks. That might be a little more time consuming. You want to do some uh, heads up work uh, before you reach out to your SAP counterparts. Um, so this is how you would go about doing it, right? Uh, so here uh, on the screen, you see a, a report, a Power BI report that is connecting to SAP HANA in uh, direct query mode. So my first thought was, hey, uh, maybe I can use DAX Studio, uh, capture the uh, capture the trace there, and uh, that'll give me what I need. Uh, but when I opened up DAX Studio, uh, and this is the this uh, da this instance of DAX Studio is connecting to my Power BI desktop file, and I've enabled uh, queries, qu query logging, and this is what I see in my queries. It is, um, it's more DAX code. It's not the actual query that is being sent out to HANA. Uh, so I wanted more detail. So this is what I, uh, I went about doing to uh, capture that log. Now, the first thing I did was I started with, um, oh, I opened up my, uh, task manager went to the, uh, to the details section and I got the uh, process ID of uh, this uh, my ex uh, exe file that is executed with when Power BI runs. So uh, in my case, the ID is 13740. The next thing I did was I opened up command prompt and executed netstat uh, anop tcp command. And this gives me uh, a list of details here. I look for the PID that matches what shows up in uh, my task manager here. So 13740. So once I look that up, basically I'm looking for the uh, port number uh, that matches uh, where Power BI desktop is listening to. Uh, so here, there you go. Uh, so it is. Uh, this is this is the um, local host and the port number that I need. Then I open up a SQL profiler and I start a new trace. I pick analysis services as my server type. I paste in my uh, server name. Make sure it's Windows authentication. Click on connect. Once I do that, I get the trace properties window. Here I can go into events section uh, and I do not want all the events. I just want my direct query start and end event. So that'll give me enough information that I need. To get that, I go into query processing and I select direct query begin, direct query end and click on run. Okay, now that I have all uh, my, my uh, trace set up, let me go back to the Power BI desktop file Let's say I change one of the slicers here, pick yellow, and let me go back to uh, the profiler to look at how the query would look. And if you look look here, I have um, two begin and two end. So typically I look at the end, uh, uh, direct query end. Uh, it, it usually repeats the same query. So I just look at the ones that are end. Um, and here you see there are two different queries that are sent out. One is my, the, for the product subcategory where the product color is yellow because I just picked that as a filter. Uh, the first one is based on uh, product color. And, there are, there are, and these are the two queries that are generated because I have two different visuals. One is based on color, one is based on product category. So each of these visuals sent out uh, individual queries to uh, HANA. So this, uh, this helps me capture uh, the query that is exe actually executed in HANA. And then I can take this query uh, to HANA Studio, run the same thing. And if I'm hitting any 
performance uh, uh, issues there, I can use this to tune my HANA view and improve uh, the performance of my uh, Power BI visual. All right. Hopefully, this helps uh, with your uh, uh, with uh, making your Power BI reports much more efficient uh, when they're connecting to SAP sources in direct query mode. If you've got any comments, leave them below. And uh, thank you for watching.